Welcome everybody to our podcast, Generational Gains. This is my father, Greg Herlean, and myself, Carson Herlean. It's where we talk about all things money, family, business, life. Uh, we talk about everything in terms of the perspective of uh, someone who's been running a business and an entrepreneur for 20, 30 years and someone who's you new starting their business and career. And so we get to talk about what it's like back and forth in today's world starting businesses and, and you know, what, what he, you know, my father's learned throughout his experience being an entrepreneur. And so we've been, we've been doing this now for probably a year and a half, year, a year. It's been awesome. And we're, we're pumped to continue doing this. And hopefully we share more what you guys are wanting and what you guys want to hear from us in terms of, uh, you know, what communities we're building, what we're offering to other people and how we're helping others. And so that's kind of what we want to get into today. It's just what communities we've been a part of, what groups we've been a part of, uh, what's got us to where we're at today and where we're going with our future communities. So I know my dad has been in all kinds of different masterminds and groups and, and uh, different networks his entire business career. And so I'd love to hear from you first, like what's the best masterminds you've been in and, and, uh, and what's fun? Like, like how much have you spent on masterminds? Are they, are they expensive? <laughs> they are expensive. Uh, yes, they're, they're expensive, uh, <laughs> but they're usually worth it. So look, yeah. th this is a hot topic. So you and I have talked about certain things that create success in business. And I will always say one of the top three things for success in business is relationships. Uh, and I, I don't put it first typically because uh, I think hard work still is one of the most important things. But relationships is always in the top two or three. Yeah. And, and so diving deeper into just saying relationships, well, well, how do you meet and how do you have great relationships? The answer, in my opinion, is community. Finding a community where you feel that pushes you, that motivates you, that helps you, that you mm -hmm. can learn from. And so uh, I've, you know, I've been doing this 23 years. And so I've seen all kinds of different communities. I've, I, uh, I've been to lots of different events. And I think at a lot of the events that I have gone to, you get to learn about different communities and different masterminds and, and see what people are doing and, and people that you might respect or that could be a potential mentor of yours. These communities have helped me grow and pushed me to be a better business owner, a better father, uh, and a better entrepreneur. And so there's just so many of them. Yeah. And so for me, this is a hot topic. Uh, because I think it is, it is a cheat code to accelerating your business and accelerate, accelerating your wealth mm -hmm. because you get to hear from, and now look, everyone that you might meet in these, in these events or communities, they're not all legit, let's say, or they're not all great, but you find lots of diamonds in the rough. You find lots yeah. of people that can help you grow. And so, so for me, the communities are great. Uh, I will say that I, I think a few years ago, um, I remember someone come up to me like, well, do you still like, do you still pay for a mastermind? Yeah. Do, you, do you go and do you, do, are you, cause I, I sit, I now help support different masterminds and communities, leading them and leading them. But, but I also still attend, uh, attend a couple and yes, I spend 20 or $30,000, sometimes $50,000 a year in mastermind or communities or events where I can better myself. I think constant education is a strong pillar yeah. of, of, of success. And I think once you stop educating yourself and seeing what you know the, the world's talking about, uh, at least the world that I'm a, a part of, uh, I think it's, it can start diminishing your value. And so, yeah, I, I feel like it, finding your community is, is critical. And, and I know you've probably, you know, you found some of your own community too. I think... Every time I go to an in-person event, it is kind of a dread a little bit like, oh, I have to get in a plane, I have to book a hotel, I'm going to be gone for three days, changing up my routine. But every time I leave, there's a different, you know, oomph you have. There's some motivation behind where you're going because you have some direction now. It's good to change things up and be around other people and hear other ideas. Because if you're on the same people, your same business partners every day, you hear the same thing. But to go out and hear what someone else is doing, a different idea someone else tried, some challenges other people are going through, it helps you 
with your business and where you're taking everything and things you needed to improve upon just by observing others. And so webinars don't do the justice. Like it's being in person is worth it every time. And that's what I've noticed thus far is the more events I go to, the more I'm bettering myself and the more direction I get within my business. Yeah. And that's been great. Even two weeks ago, I was at an event and I feel like I had another little baby step of where I see my vision going. And so that's, that's, that's what's important to me about going to these events and being a part of these communities. Do you think because you've been going to so many communities, you know now like who you want to be around, what people you want to talk to when you're there, how to navigate these groups and masterminds? I wouldn't say perfectly, but I'd say because I've done them for so long, I've been going to different ones so long, I'm able to figure it out much quicker. Yeah. Uh, I, I go to less of them now. I used to go to a lot of them, which I think is not a bad idea in the beginning because you, you're trying to find your community. And, and I guess that's one of the things that I've learned is I think most entrepreneurs or people trying to create wealth, if, if they stay kind of to your point, if, if they're around kind of like the negative Nancy's, the people that don't uplift them. Yeah. You said this to me, I think this morning, like, like sometimes you're, you're in your own circle and your own family is like not cheerleading you on. Like you need to be around people that are cheering you on that are, you know, sharing in some of the same struggles, but also upsides. Yeah. yeah. And so I feel like, uh, you know, finding those people is, is I think critical, but to answer your question. Yeah. I mean, I, I, and I, I enjoy going to a couple, but I also have been able to figure out, uh, through just a lot of experience. Now, now I just know before I go to in a new mastermind, if I already, I've already got some good referrals or references. I don't just show up, uh, from, I used to just show up at events. So I'd pay and just go and I'd hope to find, you know, a network, et cetera, which believe it or not was really hard for me. Still hard for me. Well, it is hard. I, I get that. And whenever I go to an event and I meet someone and there's like, Oh, their first time there, they are a little bit alone. They're a little bit nervous. They don't, know exactly where they fit in but and i felt like that every time too the first couple times and then you go a couple more times and you're like okay i think i understand how these rooms work i think i understand who's here why they're here and i'm more open too, more vulnerable talking about things wanting to meet get to know other people because the person sitting next to you that might be sitting you know not by other people just there attending might have something you could benefit from or you could benefit them in a way too you could provide value to one another and you just never know unless you start talking to people. Well, and what's cool is sometimes I'll leave them and I'll just get a new app idea. That's not an idea, but an app that someone's using that makes their company more efficient. Yeah, like yeah. just that app alone yeah. could pay for the mastermind. So, but you had said something. Why don't you share it again with me before we were talking about this? I thought it was really powerful the, the you know, why people go in the beginning to a mastermind or a community mm -hmm. and then why they stay. Like, mm -hmm. how's, how's that typically? I thought, yeah. I thought that was really good feedback and, and, I, and I resonate with that. Yeah. So another example of why masterminds are important, two weeks ago I was at a, in a mastermind and I was presenting my business and my vision and things that I was working on. Um, and a guy there was like, hey, he, afterwards he came up to me and said, hey, when I was your age, I did what you're doing. Here's all the things I could tell you about what I learned doing what you're trying to do. And first of all, that type of literally perfect mentor to help you with your business, you don't get by just being at home. I got because I went to the event and I'm super grateful for that relationship now. But what he told me was, hey, I started the community when I was young. And what I found was the, when those who came in loved it, but if they didn't make money quick, they left. But those who stayed and became more a part of the community ended up making way more money. They came to make money and learn but they stayed for the community and that's what actually made them the big bucks. Mm -hmm. And, and that was mind blowing to me. It's like bring everyone in and find ways to help them stay because they will benefit from it. The longer they stay, who cares if there's a fee to be a part of the group or it gets more expensive over time. Like the more you're a part of it, the more money you're going to make. And that's crazy to me. It makes it, sense though. It, it makes complete sense. And, and, and I, and I, and that a hundred percent resonates with me because I feel like, if you're looking for a community, yeah. one of the best things you can do is dive completely in, 100%. And what you'll find is the community is 
is really what you're after a lot of times more than the person who's created the community. I've been in a lot of different groups yeah. and the leader I love and respect, right? And or could be a mentor. And but but he only gave me this much or she only gave me this much percentage of what was fulfilling me. The majority of what fulfilled me mm. was those in the group. Yep. And so finding like-minded communities where people want to give. Mm-hmm. So find those communities, not just the takers, but the givers. Yeah. And so uh, well, there's one other thing I was going to mention and, and love for you to comment on. And I think it's something you were talking, you and I were talking about before as well, which is, you know, a lot of these places you've come to in the last couple of years, you've come to a couple of different masterminds with me as either my guest or even as a member. Yeah. And, and most of the people are probably about double your age or more. Yeah. And they come up to, to me and they're like, Oh, it's great that your son's here. And how, you know, how did he, you know, how did you get them to come here? But kind of what are, yeah. your, what are your thoughts on on that and, and kind of your age and other people your age that are trying to find a community? What are your thoughts on, on that right now? Um, most people are going at it alone. So what's it worth to have a group of people around you who are like-minded who can support you? Right? Proximity is power. The more, or the other, other thing people say is your network is your net worth. Right? So a lot of young people don't have direction or a group to go with them. They're going at it alone. They're trying to figure out their passion, trying to start a business. They're ambitious, but they don't have opportunities around them. They, they don't know where to go to build where, they're, where they want to go. And that's the problem I see with young people in their 20s and 30s is that problem right there. But to your, your point, when people come up to me and all the time, they're asking how, you know, I'm usually, no one's probably 10 years close to my age at every event I go to. And it's really, it's, it's humbling and I feel like I'm very fortunate to be around these people. And it's made me realize I have all these opportunities around me and these relationships and it's got me so far already. How can I share this with other young people? And that's where I feel like where I want to start going with my vision, future business, whatever it is that young other young people would succeed and make more money if they had what I had. And that's why I've been so successful so young. And so that's the direction I want to go is building a new community, building a place for other young, ambitious entrepreneurs to go. When they feel like they're different, they, they, they know they have something going for them. They just don't know who can support them. And they don't have the opportunities and relationships around them. And that's a, 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 um, a hole in the market that I want to fill. There's a void there that I think people need to start reaching out for help because it will benefit them tenfold. And there's so many other young people like myself who want to help and want to build together. And we live in a world today where we're, you know, we, I feel like everyone has a mold they need to fill where where there's so much fear given by the government and media there. And there's this, just all kinds of doubts around everyone, but there's so much opportunity around everyone to succeed. There's so much positivity and opportunities and, and, and hope we can all have, and we need to have it together. And so that's where I feel like we need to take where I want to take this. Um, but yeah, I don't know that. Does that all make sense? It does. But what I like to share about that, as I listen to you talk about you know, today's young, you know, world of, of younger generational entrepreneurs and or just younger. When I say younger, it could be you could be my age. Uh, and I don't I think I'm still young, but younger in your learning curve as far as starting yeah. to save money and starting to build wealth. Yeah. And I would say most of America, fortunately, or un- well, unfortunately, is behind and, and just really haven't hasn't had maybe the, the education and or um, opportunity to, to build wealth. And so, well, can I hit that real quick? Uh-huh. It's because most people who are 40, 50, 60 have been in, in working nine to five for however many years. And they finally realized, Hey, I only have a hundred grand in the bank. How am I going to retire? 
And then there's that pain point of, okay, well, scrambling, how, what, what do I need to do to start building something? But younger people don't have that pain point because they haven't experienced that yet. They're going to experience it. So we can stop that tradition now and have younger people realize you don't want to go down that path. Let's start now changing the direction we're going. We can help other young people not get to that point. But to your point, this does not need to be only people who are 20 years old. This could be everyone, but those who are just young in their business, young in their ambitions. And so, yeah, sorry, go for it. No, you're you're good. I, I, I love it. I, I just want to share something with you that I think is a natural thing that has already happened. You just shared with me and us uh, the mission of building a community, that you want to build a community uh, where, where people can come and, and, and give and learn and grow uh, and, and where you can share, I think, some of the secrets or cheat codes that you've got yeah. to help you kind of excel. Yeah. That being that being said, one thing that's a natural thing that you're doing is uh, you've already started building this community. And I know you kind of know it, but I don't know how well you know it. People come up to me. People follow you. You're you're already naturally building it without intentionally building it yeah. already. And so I think that's powerful. I think some of the best leaders are people that aren't saying, okay, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. They just naturally start giving and start creating yeah and uh, i think the more that you give your community is going to go tenfold your community will be way bigger than my community ever was uh as i mean you, you started uh, a little bit before me when it came to kind of building a community so i just want to tell you 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 are building a community people see it people mm-hmm. talk to me about it and it's impressive thank you for your thoughts i um i love this conversation and i think it's a, a there's a need out there for this Everyone wants a community, everyone wants to feel like they belong, and everyone wants to be in person together. AI is going to, AI and virtual reality, that's the world, the, the, the way the world is going, and AI will never replace physical interactions. It'll never replace a community. And so, find those communities, start looking for them, because those communities are what's going to make you more money, and make you have better relationships, and, and build your business. So that being said, if you have, if you are young or, or starting out. starting out or have a young person in your family or a friend, you want to start joining a community and start learning, come follow me. Like not, not to, you know, put my show on the, on, or my page on the show, but if you follow me on Instagram at Carson.Herlean, you can start seeing what I'm talking about. You can start seeing this community we're building. And so I'd, I'd really recommend anyone on there who wants to start being a part of something, follow me on Instagram and, and, and DM me. Just yeah, shoot ask me a, questions. Ask me questions. DM me. Let me know, you know what you thought of this podcast. DM me and let me know where you want to go, what you want to learn. And I'll, I'll try and provide that value or bring people in who can provide that value for you. So um, I think that's one option for you to at least start looking around. Um, and so that being said... Any other thoughts before we end with Susar? I'll just, I'll just, yeah, uh, piggyback on that. I'd say, if if you if you if you found yourself in a place where people aren't cheering you on and helping you in your lows and highs and supporting you and giving you the raw raw you need, find a different community. Yeah. If if you've got them, hold them tight. Give and give. And if you've got kids that that are his age, that you know. Uh, or just starting out, you know, anywhere from, I'd say, 15 to 30, 35. Um, there's some great principles that, that he st- I, I still learn from Carson. He teaches me things because we don't really work together. Uh, there's, there's very little that we really do together. Yeah. He's, he's learning, and I get to learn from him and vice versa. And so it's yeah. been really fun to see his, his, uh, his message, uh, and, and, and you grow. So anyway, so let's just wrap it up today. Thanks for listening, and uh, let's, let's wrap up with something different. We always talk about sweets. Tell me a sour that you had. Because I already know sweets. It's football week. It's football season. Those are all the sweets. Yeah. Uh, tell me uh, maybe something tough that uh, in the last week that you've uh, had to deal with. Well, first off, I actually had someone last week I was on a call with say, hey, I listen to your podcast. I love the sweet sour and service thing you do. I started implementing you with my kids. Oh, crap. So now we're not doing it. Uh, so no. So, but that, that was cool. That is cool. Uh, that was really cool to hear someone else likes that. So if you guys want to include this into your family dinners or whatever, I think you definitely should. It's been great for us. Uh, but a sour only for me. Um, I think 
as I am trying to build my business, it's hard for a couple reasons. I think one, there's a little bit of an imposter syndrome of like, who am I to go and teach these other young people or older people than me how to build relationships or how to manage their money when they've been doing it for 20 years longer than I have. So it's like sometimes I have that feeling and also like oh, it is hard to start a business. Like it takes so much time and mental energy and self-drive and sometimes you just get burnt out. Mm. And so I guess those aren't totally sours, but those are things I've been thinking about lately and working on. No, oh, that's good. Uh, I think my sour is my routine had to be moved up 30, 45 minutes every morning. Uh, school has started, the kids go to school early and I have a routine that I need in the morning to get my day set. And now that they all go to school early uh, and or, uh, you know, church school in the morning before school, yeah, I, I am now up, uh, in the fives and that's early it's too early. And so, uh, but I will get used to it. Uh, I was getting up closer to six and uh, now it's uh, a little closer to five. So, uh, anyways, have a great week. We appreciate you listening and, uh, look forward to, uh, talking to you and seeing your messages. So follow us and, and get a hold of us if you've got any questions or want different feedback if you want to talk about something else. Thanks.